The euro has declined to $1.03, its lowest since November 2022, amid deteriorating economic indicators and contracting business activity in key eurozone economies. Investor confidence is waning, influenced by political instability in Germany and France, and concerns over potential U.S. tariffs under President Trump's administration. Alarmingly, the euro is approaching parity with the dollar, a rare occurrence, while markets anticipate aggressive European central bank rate cuts to counter economic frailty. Inflation has fallen to 2%, but contractions in services and manufacturing signal deeper troubles. With bond yields collapsing and economic vulnerabilities mounting, the eurozone faces a critical juncture that could spiral into prolonged instability. Germany, the eurozone's largest economy, is at the center of this downturn. In November, German business activity declined for the fifth consecutive month, with the HCOB German Flash Composite Purchasing Managers Index dropping to 47.3 from 48.6 in October, indicating a faster rate of contraction than expected. The services sector, previously a stabilizing force, also contracted, with its index falling to 49.4 from 51.6. The manufacturing sector remains in recession, with the index at 43.2, despite a slight improvement. The German government forecasts a 0.2% contraction in output for 2024, highlighting challenges from global competition, weak demand, and an industrial slowdown. Political instability, including a budget dispute and upcoming snap elections in February, further complicates the economic recovery. The European Union's imposition of sanctions on Russia has had significant repercussions on the Eurozone's economy and the Euro's value. A substantial portion of the EU's energy imports, notably natural gas and oil, originated from Russia. Sanctions targeting these imports have led to supply disruptions and increased energy prices. In 2021, the EU imported 71 billion euros worth of oil from Russia, accounting for a significant share of its energy consumption. The ban covers 90% of EU oil imports from Russia, leading to increased energy costs and inflationary pressures within the Eurozone. The sanctions have also restricted trade and investment flows between the EU and Russia. The EU has banned over 48 billion euros in goods that would have been exported to Russia and 91.2 billion euros in goods that would have been imported from Russia. This decline in trade has adversely affected industries reliant on Russian markets and resources, contributing to economic slowdown in certain sectors. The very recent escalating conflict between Ukraine and Russia, particularly with the deployment of long-range missiles, poses significant risks to the euro's stability. Several factors contribute to this potential deterioration. In November 2024, the conflict between Ukraine and Russia escalated significantly following Ukraine's deployment of Western-supplied long-range missiles. The United States authorized Ukraine to use Army Tactical Missile Systems, or ATACMs, for strikes within Russian territory, marking a pivotal shift in U.S. policy. Subsequently, the United Kingdom permitted Ukraine to utilize British-supplied Storm Shadow missiles against targets inside Russia. On November 20, 2024, Ukraine launched six U.S.-made ATACMs missiles at a military facility in Russia's Bryansk region. The Russian Defense Ministry reported intercepting five of these missiles, with the sixth causing damage but no casualties. The following day, Ukraine employed British-supplied Storm Shadow missiles to strike additional targets within Russia, further intensifying the conflict. On November 22, 2024, Russian President Vladimir Putin announced the successful test of the Oreshnik, a new intermediate-range ballistic missile capable of flying at speeds of Mach 10 making it nearly impossible to intercept with current Western missile defense systems. This action followed Ukraine's use of long-range missiles supplied by the United States and the United Kingdom, authorized by their respective governments. In response to these developments, Russia escalated its military approach by targeting a military site in Dnipro, Ukraine, with the Oreshnik. The move highlights Russia's reaction to Western involvement and Ukraine's deployment of advanced weaponry, further intensifying the conflict. The escalating conflict has prompted neighboring countries like Poland and Finland to significantly bolster their national defense strategies. Both nations are enhancing their military capabilities and infrastructure to address the growing security threats posed by the war and the potential for further regional instability. Poland has taken a proactive stance, urging the European Union to prioritize increased spending on eastern defenses 
particularly along its borders with Russia and Belarus. Recognizing the strategic importance of securing these frontiers, Poland has committed 10 billion zlotys, or 2.3 billion euros, to its East Shield project. This ambitious initiative includes the construction of advanced fortifications and the deployment of sophisticated air surveillance systems designed to detect and deter potential threats. Poland's defense spending is projected to surge to 4.7% of GDP by 2025, one of the highest rates among NATO members. This increase reflects Poland's determination to modernize its military and strengthen its position as a frontline state. The investments underscore Poland's commitment to safeguarding not only its national security, but also the security of the broader European Union. Similarly, Finland has ramped up its defense budget for 2024 to approximately 6.5 billion euros, representing 2.3% of GDP. The increased funding is largely allocated for significant equipment acquisitions, including the purchase of 64 F-35 fighter jets. These state-of-the-art aircraft will enhance Finland's air defense capabilities and provide a strategic advantage in the event of a regional escalation. Although Finland plans to reduce its defense spending in the coming years, with projections indicating a decrease to 1.99% of GDP by 2027, the current surge reflects its immediate need to address security concerns. As a newly inducted NATO member, Finland is actively aligning its defense posture with the alliance's objectives, ensuring it can effectively contribute to collective security efforts while fortifying its own borders. The ongoing conflict between Ukraine and Russia has significantly strained the Eurozone's economy, primarily through elevated energy prices and disrupted supply chains. The European Central Bank, or ECB, has noted that the war has substantially increased uncertainty in the euro area, adversely affecting economic activity. Natural gas futures have surged 18% this week, reaching their highest level in a year due to colder weather forecasts in the U.S. and potential disruptions to European LNG supplies. This rise in prices is expected to lead to higher electricity costs for U.S. consumers. The conflict has led to increased borrowing costs for affected nations, reflecting investor concerns over potential defaults and the broader implications for the Eurozone. The ECB responded with measures such as the Securities Markets Program and the announcement of outright monetary transactions to stabilize the situation. The ECB has highlighted that the war has significantly increased uncertainty in the euro area, affecting economic activity. Further escalation could exacerbate these issues, leading to higher inflation and reduced economic growth, thereby weakening the euro. Let's take a quick pause. If you've enjoyed the video so far, could we ask a small favor? Hitting the like button helps us reach a broader audience, and sharing your thoughts or feedback in the comments makes an even bigger impact. Thank you for watching. Now, let's dive back in. Escalating military actions, especially involving advanced weaponry like long-range missiles, can erode investor confidence. The euro has already fallen to a two-year low due to various challenges, including geopolitical tensions. Continued conflict escalation may prompt investors to move capital away from the eurozone, increasing market volatility and putting additional downward pressure on the euro. Increased military aggression could lead to broader economic sanctions against Russia, which may have reciprocal effects on the eurozone. The European Union has already faced challenges related to energy supply and prices due to sanctions. Further sanctions could disrupt trade and investment flows negatively impacting the euro. The reason behind the drop of the euro is multidimensional. The re-election of Donald Trump in November 2024 has significantly impacted the euro's value against the US dollar, with the euro declining to $1.05 marking a fresh 13-month low. Several factors contribute to this relationship. Trump's proposed trade policies include a 10% levy on EU imports and a substantial 60% tariff on Chinese goods. These measures have raised concerns about the Eurozone's export-driven economies, particularly affecting industries like automobiles and pharmaceuticals. Analysts warn that such tariffs could erode Europe's GDP by up to 1.5% equivalent to about 260 billion euros. The prospect of U.S. economic growth under Trump's administration has bolstered the dollar, 
making it more attractive to investors. The dollar index reached a 13-month high, reflecting investor confidence in the U.S. economy. The eurozone faces economic hurdles, including political instability in key economies like Germany and France, and a decline in business activity. The eurozone composite purchasing managers index dropped to 48.1, indicating economic contraction, Businesses have been cutting payrolls for four consecutive months amidst weak investments and upcoming U.S. trade policies under President-elect Donald Trump. The euro's decline is also influenced by investor sentiment and market dynamics. The premium paid in the options market to hedge against further losses is now near the highest in five months, indicating that traders are increasingly betting the currency could extend its slide toward parity against the dollar. The euro has experienced several significant declines since its introduction in 1999. Notable instances include, during the global financial crisis in 2008, the euro experienced significant depreciation. In late 2008, it fell to approximately $1.25 against the US dollar, reflecting investor concerns over the eurozone's economic stability. This decline was influenced by the crisis's impact on global financial systems leading to a sharp depreciation of many currencies, including the euro. The euro's depreciation during this period was also affected by the European Central Bank's monetary policy responses. The ECB implemented measures such as interest rate cuts and liquidity provisions to support the financial system, which contributed to the euro's weakening against the dollar. Additionally, the euro's decline was exacerbated by the global financial cycle's dynamics where capital flows and asset prices became more synchronized across countries. This increased co-movement led to a more pronounced impact on the euro during the crisis. During the European sovereign debt crisis between 2010 and 2012, the euro faced significant pressure, especially concerning the fiscal stability of countries like Greece, Ireland, and Portugal. In July 2012, the euro declined to approximately $1.20 against the US dollar, as markets questioned the sustainability of the eurozone. The crisis led to increased borrowing costs for affected nations, reflecting investor concerns over potential defaults and the broader implications for the eurozone. The European Central Bank responded with measures such as the Securities Markets Program and the announcement of outright monetary transactions to stabilize the situation. Despite these efforts, the euro's value remained under pressure during this period, highlighting the challenges faced by the Eurozone in maintaining economic cohesion amid fiscal disparities among member states. In 2022, the Euro reached parity with the US dollar for the first time in two decades, trading at $1. This decline was attributed to Eurozone economic challenges including the energy crisis and inflation, coupled with the strengthening of the US dollar due to the Federal Reserve's monetary policy. The Energy Crisis exacerbated by geopolitical tensions, led to soaring energy prices, contributing to inflationary pressures within the Eurozone. In response, the European Central Bank implemented measures to address these challenges, including interest rate adjustments. Simultaneously, the U.S. Federal Reserve's monetary policy, characterized by interest rate hikes to combat domestic inflation, strengthened the U.S. dollar. This divergence in monetary policies between the ECB and the Federal Reserve further contributed to the euro's depreciation against the dollar. The combination of internal economic challenges within the eurozone and external factors, such as the Federal Reserve's policy actions, culminated in the euro reaching parity with the U.S. dollar in 2022. As of November 2024, the euro has fallen to its lowest value against the dollar in nearly two years, reaching $1.03 before stabilizing at $1.04. This decline is primarily driven by concerns over potential U.S. tariffs and weakening economic conditions in the eurozone. Uninspiring business activity data and fears of an extended period of U.S. economic outperformance have heightened expectations of significant interest rate cuts from the European Central Bank. Geopolitical tensions, particularly Russia's ongoing conflict with Ukraine and rising natural gas prices, have further exacerbated pressure on the euro. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching this video. We sincerely appreciate you joining us today. If our content resonated with you or sparked inspiration, Please consider expressing your support by liking it and subscribing to stay connected with our community. Your support holds immense value for us.
you can watch another video of our channel, which is now on the screen.